Hi, I'm Jonathan Bright. I'm a research fellow here and a political scientist in the department. Um, so let me tell you a bit about the accessing research data from the social web. This is one of the four-week uh, optional methods modules that you might be able to take in Hillary term. Um, this course is really inspired, a lot of the courses in the methods module are really inspired by an article uh, which was published quite recently by David Laser, Lada Adamick, uh, Gary King, and a number of other really famous social scientists called The Coming Age of Computational Social Science. In this article, the authors put the finger on a major change which is happening right now in the social sciences. As we move from an era where data was very hard to come by, relatively expensive to collect, to an era where, thanks to the digitization of social life and the increasing use of the internet uh, in all sorts of facets of social activity, data about what people do in their lives and their social activities becomes increasingly easy to co collect. And this marks a major step change for social sciences in, the, their, in terms of their ability to ask and answer some quite fundamental social research questions, especially about things like social influence, how our friends affect us, how our social connections affect um, how we behave online. Um, the aim of this course, and it, it combines with a number of other methods modules, is to give students the skills to make use of these data sources and become co computational social scientists themselves. The core of the course is learning the, the programming language Python. This is uh, by now de facto standard for social science programming, the Python programming language. It's a language which, which is typically regarded as quite easy to learn, uh, quite clean, and it's also got really a lot of option modules which students can bring in um, to their learning to do all sorts of new different things. During the course, we're going to learn the basics of this language. We're also going to learn how to use it to access things like RSS feeds, to download free text from websites, and to access APIs, which control uh, data coming out of uh, social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook. The course is designed to be complementary with some of the other four-week methods modules on data manipulation, big data analytics, and information visualization. They fit in together, not overlapping. And if a student takes all four of them, although you don't have to by any means, you'll really be quite well equipped to move forward with this type of computational social science research. One final thing which is worth highlighting is that you don't need any previous programming experience to take this course. It's designed for the complete beginner. It's a challenge to learn programming for people who haven't come from a technical background, but it's one which lots and lots of our master's students take on each year, and lots and lots of them learn very successfully to do that. So uh, do get in touch with me if you have any questions, and I hope to see you on the course.